Warzone 2 has problems. It just doesn't seem that fun anymore. And that's a real shame for a game that's only been out for a couple of months. When it did launch, I felt like I was in a minority defending it. I was loving the map. I was really happy that they'd taken slide cancelling out. I was really enjoying the loadout changes. Like the idea that ground loot was more important and you wouldn't get stuck to some stale meta seemed amazing to me. When they first revealed Warzone 2 and they were saying, oh yeah, the loadouts are going to come much later in the circle and only a few teams are going to be able to grab them because once you grab the crate, it will disappear for everyone else or you're going to have to do a stronghold to get your load out or you're going to have to buy the individual weapons from the buy station and they're going to be super expensive you know we saw at cod next there were prices like thirty thousand dollars for an individual gun and stuff like that i thought that sounded amazing because it meant that if we were relying on ground loot they could change that regularly and keep the whole thing seeming fresh we weren't going to have these horrible stale metas where someone finds a gun that's overpowered in whatever new update there is and then just everybody's using it but very, very quickly, they took away that idea that guns would have different costs or anything like that. They made it so anyone can pick up those loadout packages. They disappear off the minimap after one team uses them, but anyone can go up and use them afterwards. Even with the strongholds, I know it was always meant to be, oh, the first team could complete the stronghold and get it as well as a black site key. And then the next team would be able to do it as long as they kill all the AI. In my experience, most of the time, there's no AI around the strongholds anyway, because people just kill them as they're, you know, shot at by them occasionally. So you can often just walk into a stronghold and get your loadout for free. And then they've made even more changes over the last month, where now you can buy an individual loadout gun for just two and a half thousand dollars, which is nothing. You can normally get that right at the start of a game. And you can buy a whole loadout for your team for not that much money, especially in solos and duos. Finding eight thousand dollars each isn't too bad. So now when you're playing Warzone 2, nearly everybody you're fighting against is going to have an RPK and dual pistols or a Fennec. They're going to have that sort of small pool of meta weapons that everyone says are amazing because they are kind of amazing. Maybe they're a bit overpowered, maybe they're a bit broken. And we're going to have to kind of wait for a patch, wait for a balance update for them to fix those guns. But then I'm sure it'll just shift on something else. And this was a consistent problem all the way through Warzone 1, that there was always some kind of meta weapon everyone was using. And it meant that every game you played felt super similar to the last one. It made every firefight feel super similar. And it just got boring to me. Like, I found it very, very dull. So it's a shame that they seem to be going in the direction of making Warzone 2 more like Warzone 1. Now that's not the like extent of problems with Warzone 2. I was watching a Tim the Tapman video the other day and he was talking about how he'd watched some TikTok where they'd been saying that the time to kill in Warzone 2 is as fast as it was when people had the DMR meta in Warzone 1. And that's not a lot of fun either. Like, I think most people understand the sort of, like, arguments around time to kill. That if you have a very, very fast time to kill, it can mean that you can sometimes turn, like, firefights around. You know, if you're outnumbered, sometimes you can get the kill and kill lots of enemies with just not that many bullets. But it also means that a lot of the time when you die, you die before you really had a chance to react. Gunfights are over before one side of them had any chance to do anything. And that makes them a little bit stale. It means they're a little bit boring. It means it kind of rewards people maybe being a bit sneakier, maybe trying to catch people unaware a little bit more. And it can be very frustrating when you're playing a game and you can be playing for like 15 minutes and doing really well, have all of the best gear, and then suddenly just die out of nowhere. I thought Raven had done a really good job of, or Infinity Ward, whoever designed it originally, of taking out the one-shot kill snipers. I really liked the idea that you couldn't just be one-shot anywhere anymore. It was still fairly easy and satisfying to use sniper rifles because you can get that first shot, break all their plates, and then follow up with another gun. Or if you've got a team, you could all shoot someone at once and kill them very quickly. But it was a bit trickier to do. You didn't have people just going through getting kill after kill after kill after kill on people that had no idea they were even there. I thought that was a good change, but now it feels like with the RPK, with the dual pistols, you can essentially do that same thing. You can just delete people before they have a chance to react. Now with Warzone 1, they knew this was a problem. They knew that a longer time to kill was kind of more enjoyable because it meant that gunfights had a bit of back and forth to them. That was like a little bit more entertaining. And they kept on making changes to like up the health or lower the time to kill with the different weapons, just trying to do things to make those gunfights go on a bit longer. And then it feels like we've walked all of that back with Warzone 2. I wouldn't be surprised with the Season 2 update to immediately have some of those things change. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw everybody getting like an extra 50 health. I wouldn't be surprised to see the free plate vest disappear. So then 
everybody has the potential to have the same amount of armor without having to have the kind of RNG of whether you find a vest or not. And it feels like Warzone's being torn in different directions where, in my mind at least, they're kind of making the wrong decisions at every turn. Like, we've got the ridiculously fast time to kill. We've got all of the loadout weapons back and we've got the same problems with meta we've had before. It feels like we're sort of getting into this weird situation where we're getting the very worst of what we had with Warzone. And that's not even to talk about all of the bugs. Like, it's fairly clear to anyone that's played a lot of Warzone or DMZ that these games just weren't ready to be released. Like, DMZ has that beta logo, so you kind of expect it. But we've had two months of people constantly crashing out and losing everything in DMZ. And loads of the missions don't even work. Like, how did they test these missions and find that, you know, oh, you can't complete some of these objectives? And you still can't. Like, some of them got fixed, but one of them, one of the final White Lotus missions, still can't be completed now, so you can't get it done. But Warzone 2, the Battle Royale mode, wasn't labelled as a beta, but it still has plenty of problems. There's still, like, intense graphical glitches that ruin some people's games. There's weird interactions where, like, people can be on the train and suddenly get killed and things like that. Sometimes stims seem to work in the gas and other times they don't. I've even had situations where I've had two stims while I'm in the gas. The first one's worked exactly as I'd expect it to, and then the second one hasn't worked at all. There's so many frustrating things like this where it just feels like, okay, in Warzone 1, this was acceptable. It's a massive, complex game. Something like this hadn't really been done before, you know, at least with the Call of Duty engine. Warzone 2 was apparently being worked on from when Warzone 1 came out. You know, it's been years in the making and it's still got a lot of the same issues, to be honest, and some new ones. It just feels very, very frustrating. Now, that's not to say there isn't stuff that I don't like about Warzone 2. Like I said earlier, I really like the map. I think Almazra is a fantastic map and it's super exciting to explore. I've really enjoyed DMZ. Obviously, I've put loads and loads of time into DMZ. I think it's a fun mode, even if it's got lots of things kind of missing from it that maybe Escape from Tarkov does better. And even other games, you know, Division and stuff like that did better. But it's a cool idea for Call of Duty and it's something a little bit fresh. But I can't help but think that right now, Warzone 2 overall as a package just isn't really worth my time. And please don't get me wrong, like this is obviously a very personal thing. I'm sure there's plenty of people who are having an amazing time with Warzone 2 and I don't think they're wrong, I don't think they're mistaken, I'm not going to say anything, you know, whether I think, oh it's because you're, you know, you're just sweats and tryhards or whether it's because you're casual players or anything like that. It's not that, just some people are going to like these changes and other people aren't. But for me, it definitely feels like it's a real shame that I'm struggling to have fun with this. And a lot of the changes that they seem to be making are taking it in the wrong direction rather than the right direction. Now, obviously, it's been over the Christmas period and, you know, we had Thanksgiving and then we had Christmas, then we had New Year. So there's been lots of, like, slow time where lots of developers probably aren't working. Lots of social media people probably aren't working. So we're not getting the same kind of communication that we're used to and we're not getting the same level of updates. Maybe in season two, they'll fix absolutely everything and it'll be amazing and bring us back. But at the moment, that seems kind of unlikely. Now, when everyone was moaning about Warzone 2 when it first came out, I was telling people, oh, well, maybe the game's just not for you anymore. You should just play something else. And I'm more than happy to just take that advice myself. You know, thankfully, 2023 looks like it's got some incredible games coming out and I'm more than happy to just go and play something else. But it's a real shame that it's ended up this way. So I just wanted to get my thoughts kind of on the record of where Warzone's at right now. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. How do you think it's been going? Do you think there's like particular changes that need to be made? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.